What is going on, everybody? I put it up for a vote. I put up Adele's 21 against Ed Sheeran's Multiply and the neighborhood's Wiped Out. And by a landslide, Adele won with over 50% of the vote, man. She was over 20% higher than the nearest competitor. And I'll be a little bit honest here. When I put them up for vote, I was kind of hoping Adele would win. Obviously, I put all three up because I was willing to listen to each of them. In fact, I was kind of excited about listening to each of them. However, there's something about Adele's voice. I've never really dived into her music, but everything I've heard of hers, I really enjoy. Her last album, 25. I first of all, I love that naming construct or the how you're how you're like naming your albums. 25. That's the age you're at. 21, 19. That's just so perfect because just from the title, the age, you know kind of what the album's gonna be about. The maturity level of the art. Artist. And actually the next album that comes out whenever it does whether it's like 28 or something like that She's gonna be in a much different place in her life I'm actually really curious about that because you know your early 20s are especially like a time that are similar to your late teens But once you like settle down have a kid like what changes thematically in your songs your ideals change a little bit as well I mean your whole life is changing so I'm really excited to see what she does for her next album But yeah, man, I love Adele. She stays out of the spotlight She just comes every now and then drops an album marvelous work wins a couple Grammys and then disappears again now for this album It's 12 songs long, but I'm pretty sure I've heard three songs on here rolling in the deep and rumor has it Which are the first two songs? And then also, I think, maybe set fire to the rain. That that phrase sounds really familiar. Then again, I've never sat down to listen to her music. Usually it's just like at a mall. It'll be playing or something like that. So it'll be a little bit different listening to it here. Plus it's been years, man. This is 2011. <laughs> Thinking about starting to do covers on YouTube as well. Actually, right there in the background, there's You're Gonna Wish You Never Met Me. I'd always thought that was Adele, but no, I never really paid attention to what she was actually singing. She's singing about how she's so deep in love with somebody, but the person in the background's like, no, you're gonna wish you never met me. So I think that's the other person in this. See, that's the kind of thing that gets lost when you're not paying attention, when it's like just in the background. She's half your age? She's got to be at least 18, right? So that means that this guy is over 36 years old. I mean, it's a figure of speech, half your age, he could be like 34 or something, but still. And why is she even singing this? Like, she's 21. It's not at least she's that much older. If the girl is even 18, she might be 19 or 20. She's not really making the case for herself. What? I don't, I don't know that I've ever heard this. I must have, but I don't remember this at all. See, like, lyrics like that. Just because I said it doesn't mean I meant it. That's interesting. I gotta say, of all Adele's songs that I've ever heard, this has to be the weakest chorus. It's just the same thing. Same words sung over and over and over again. That's catchy, I guess. All right, next track, Turning Tables. Oh, how the turntables have turned. Well, 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 how the turntables. Hey, all right, some emotional piano. I, I, I said this a long time ago, and I haven't gotten it, like, recently, but head chills, man. Head chills. When you get those, that's when you know it's legit. It's just right at the spine. Right at, like, the base of your brain, there's, like, there's some tingling. Oh, my God. I, like, I won't let you close enough to hurt me. Just the way she sounds, with the lyrics, in the piano. Oh, oh, 
That's a rather ominous sound to end the song with. Hmm. The dramatic strings on the end here. I like the song, man, and I can't help but think the the name of the album, 21. She's in this relationship where she's more guarded, and she's kind of just learning lessons about relationships as she's getting in and out of them. She wants to be the one to say goodbye. She's sick of he, him being the one to end it and then come back and end it, but it's time for her to say goodbye and to get out of that relationship. There is one super interesting line that caught my attention. Where was that? Yeah. I won't rescue you just for you to desert me. So she's not going to put all this effort in to a relationship, even if she does salvage the other person, she sees that he's the kind of guy that's probably just gonna turn around and leave her anyways, so she's not gonna let him that close. They're fighting, so she's just gonna be like, hey, let's end it. And just how she's saying it gave me head chills. It's been a while since I got head chills. Oh, man. This track just had everything. It had violins, it had piano, it had a beautiful voice, it had like a deep meaning. Ah, this is why I love Adele, man. This is why I was excited to do this album, because of that specifically. Don't you remember? God damn. Whew. I just wanted to like lay down and relax and I could have just chilled to that song forever. No final kiss to see you. Production on this song, not as big of a fan of. However, what she's singing about is nice and how she's singing it is great too. I should stop saying that. Every time Adele sings about anything, it's marvelous. She never labors herself with like just basic trivial matters. Everything is deep, emotional, and means something to her. That's why she's so awesome. Yeah, I want this just over piano. This song would be so much better in my opinion. I mean, it's not awful, the beat or anything. Right. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I think the production covers up her voice a little bit. Here we go, set fire to the raid. Let's see if this is a song I've heard or not. Set fire to the raid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's songs like these that <laughs> they're kind of depressing in a way. At the beginning of the song, she's like, I did, all I knew was darkness and then you came along. So this guy was like the light leading out of the darkness, but then it, there's a side of him that she doesn't know, the side that plays games and the side that's not so great and she's back in the darkness again. And I feel like well, she's just on one eternal cycle where she's just constantly like getting pulled out of the darkness and then back in the darkness and then out of the darkness and then back in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, she's just like, I'm so in love. Other people are like, I'm better without you, but I am actually better with you. <laughs> what? Wasn't expecting a beat like this. <laughs> that trips me out and I think that's part of the youth coming through she says I can't do it on my own if that isn't love then what is so I think she's relying on him the fact that she needs someone else she thinks that's love, and I don't think that's the accurate description. Right now. That might not actually be what she means, but it's just it follows that line directly, so you associate the two lines. Yeah. Oh, he's addicted to some shit. She's 
She switched perspectives. Okay, so this all makes a little bit more sense now that I don't know if he's like alcoholic or drugs, whatever it is. But that's why she won't go. She won't just abandon him. And at the beginning of the song, I think it was the second verse, she said, he doesn't sound like the man that I fell in love with. That's because he's fallen into whatever his addiction is. And she like wants to help him out. And then she changes perspective. She's saying he won't go instead of I won't go. He, won't go. he, can't, do it he can't do it on his own. So she is kind of selfish because she feels like she can't do it by herself either. She can't. She needs someone else in her life, and he does as well. He's obviously on something. He's trying to overcome something, so he needs her. They need each other, and I think that's where she's getting the sense of love, where they, they need to use each other, basically, which, again, not really the accurate description of love. Okay, let's go on to Take It All. <laughs> One more time, Adele. You're giving up so giving up. easily. I thought you'd be gone. Go on and take it. Ah, that growl that she added there. Be gone. Go on and take it. God, that's giving me chills. Wow, she's in far deeper than he is. <laughs> she literally said, like, you're just gonna give up that easily? Just how gentle and gorgeous and angelic and, oh, I can't, I can't put enough adjectives on it to properly describe how beautiful that is. But yeah, that ending there was great. But this is like such a, a quandary of someone who's 21 years old. Yeah, quandary. Look that word up. Actually, let me look it up to make sure I used it right. <laughs> a state of perplexity or uncertainty over what to do in a difficult situation. You fucking nailed that. Because <laughs> she's just so deeply in love with someone else, but that the other person isn't as in love with her as she is with him. He's willing to just give up after something happens. And she's like, I thought I meant more to you, but no, that's just in her head. She thinks he cares about her as much as she cares about him. And coming to that realization is a little bit, it's harsh, man. It's its making her a little bit, mm, not melancholic, but it's putting her in a gloomy state because, yeah, what, what are you supposed to do in that situation? You're afraid to get any deeper because they're not that far yet. So if you fall any deeper in love with that person, it's probably going to end up badly. It's gonna, you're going to get hurt. And at one point she says, maybe I should just leave and then, you know, it'll make this easier for you. Honestly, I don't think that would make it easier for him. I think it would make it easier for her so that she doesn't get hurt in the long run. Let's go on to I'll Be Waiting. Ah, just really not my kind of production. I like it when Adele is sad and moody and I don't like this upbeat beat. Because of the production on that track, I really wasn't able to be immersed in that track. Yeah, it's just one of those things. One and only. Alright, let's get back to your forte. Yep. has such a rich tone in her voice. I can't with you Adele right now. Giving up. 
when I worked on The Voice on NBC, yes, I worked on The Voice on NBC. <laughs> I try to throw that in anywhere I possibly can so that everybody knows. Hey, did you know? I worked on The Voice. Did you know? <laughs> I remember one thing that they told contestants was to keep your eyes open because it helps people connect to you more. Because anytime you sing, you, you like you, that's like a natural instinct. You just want like to be introspective. It helps you draw on your own emotions better when you when you close your eyes and you lose that sense. You kind of go more internal. But when you do that, you shout the other people from connecting with you. So whenever I do a reaction, I try to keep my eyes open as much as possible. Although sometimes I like close my eyes because I'm vibing to something. More times than I can remember on this album, I'm like closing my eyes. Because Adele is just like speaking to me, to my internal. And I just kind of want to like be there with it, you know? That makes, that makes me sound like a hippie. But everything about these tracks, man, it like how she's singing it. She's got one of the best voices I've ever heard. She's got these deep lyrics and... Oh man, I want to talk about one of the lyrics in a second here. And more times than not, she has these like gloomier beats. I don't know why I love those so much. And whenever I listen to classical music, the, the stuff that I like most is like the darker, drearier stuff. Adele uses that a lot, a lot more slower moving stuff. Yeah, man, I love everything she's doing here. There's one lyric though, you have to be able to forget your past. Like put that aside in order to get into a relationship with me because I'm not the other people basically. And that's important for Adele because Adele is in some like serious relationships. I mean, a lot goes wrong in these relationships. She gets in deep and then she's out of love and she's like pining after somebody who she's broken up with. So she's been in and out of a lot of relationships that are emotionally tolling. So if she wasn't able to move on like she's able to, like a lot of this would just devastate her. And I think it does to an extent, but not as much as it possibly could if she wasn't as strong, I guess is the right word, where she's able to embrace heartbreak and then move on to the next person. It might take a little bit, it might take some tears, it might take a couple songs sung about that person and a couple months of pining after that person, but you know, she'll get over it. Love Song is the next track. Is this a cover? I could have swore I've heard those lyrics before. I feel like this is a cover or someone covered this that I'm familiar with. Maybe I have heard the original, maybe a remix, maybe a cover, I don't know. Hold on, I gotta look it up. I gotta look it up. This is gonna bug the crap out of me. It is a song originally recorded by the English alternative rock band The Cure. Cure. God, I'm so sorry. The cure. <laughs> Hold on, I want to listen to that real quick. Okay, so I'm familiar with that song. This is a cover. Yeah, man. I mean, the original is great, but Adele could sing anything, and it would sound better than the original, I think. She could take a Drake song, rap it, and I think she would sound better than Drake even. Let's want to someone like you. Uh, heard of this one too. Heard this one. Actually, did I do the music video for this? I might have. I love this song. I've never been in this situation where a girl that I've dated or hooked up with settled down with someone else and I felt like the pangs of jealousy. But like, I feel like I have when Adele sings it. I've heard this song so many times and I'm still getting chills from it. <sighs> That's the mark of a fantastic song. This might be one of the best songs of all time. When it can connect with me. I've never been through a situation like this. But I feel like I have and I feel like it devastated me. And then I pause the song and I step away for a second and I'm like, why am I so sad? Like, I never experienced that. But Adele makes me feel like I've experienced that. So thank you, Adele, for breaking my heart. <laughs> I genuinely think that's one of the best songs of all time. That is so marvelous, man. I found a boy. His name is Chuck. And he loves me. Don't open the eyes, Dylan. Don't fall into it. Oh, damn it. 
I can't help it. It's Adele. Son of a bitch, she flipped the fucking script. The whole time, she's been the one so in love, but now at this point, she found a boy and someone else came to her like, hey, I want to be in a relationship again. I'm sorry for breaking up with you, but now she's like, I don't need you anymore. I, I, like, we had the heartbreak, it was sad, but now I found someone else. So she flipped the goddamn script. She turned the tables. That's the last line on the album. I don't need you. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what I was thinking about the whole song? There's an artist named Alexi Murdoch who has some fantastic songs. I'm gonna play one of them now. Actually, Adele first. Belongs on her knees. And I want to listen to her with this guy. With my brother standing by. Brother, you know, you know. It's a long road we've been walking on. Yeah, man. I want to hear that more than I want to hear most collaborations. That would be a fantastic thing. But Alexi Murdoch's not quite on Adele's level. Adele is one of the biggest. And that's what I love so much about Adele is she's not like a, a media sensation. She just makes great art and that's appreciated by a large number of people. There are some artists that are bigger because they are more in pop culture. But then there's Adele who just like goes off. Hi not necessarily hides, but she just doesn't pull in a lot of media attention. She doesn't cause controversies. She literally just puts out a project, probably does some press for it, and then goes away. And then millions of people just gravitate towards it because it's just so good. And I don't know many other artists, right? I can't name any off the top of my head that do that. And the fact that everything that she sings is like from the heart and it, it's something that means a lot to her. Even songs that are a little bit more popular, like rumor has it, the chorus on that, ah. Eh. But even that song is about how she's pulling a man who's older away from another young girl. That sounds like a <laughs> creepy way to say it. In a less creepy way, the guy's breaking up with his girlfriend for her. And like, that's like a deeper thing. It's not just about how she wants to have sex with him. It's not just about how she wants him. It's not just about how he makes her happy. It's like a deeper topic. We got a little bit of a love triangle going on and uh, she's hearing the rumors that He's breaking up with the girl for her. Turning tables just had me so completely. That and it, someone like you. Someone like you because I've heard before. Obviously I knew I was getting in and the songs kind of sound similar. And this. <laughs> Notice the similarities. <laughs> Starts with piano, it's a little more somber. I love that side of Adele. And honestly, oh god, once you think about it, once you start breaking down the psychology of it, am I glad Adele's gone through so much heartbreak because she makes such beautiful music out of it? If she hadn't gone through this, I would never have gotten this. So am I Am I happy that she's gone through so such hard times? I guess I am. I'm excited to hear what she does in the future if she goes happier with her music. I mean, she has some songs, obviously, that are a little bit more upbeat, a little bit more happy. Speaking of upbeat, what was the song? What was it? Yeah. Just couldn't get into it, man. I'm a big production person. If you've watched any of my videos, you know. Artists can do certain things to save a song if there's like not great production on it, but there's a limit, man. If I really am not feeling the beat, then I'm not gonna feel the song whatsoever. That was one of them. Love Song is a cover. Beautiful, beautiful cover. And then to close it out with this, man, I love, I love albums that really put a bow on things. And not, I feel like so many pop artists don't do that. And they just kind of have put together you know, 12 to 15 songs, and just kind of throw it on an album. Order it for whatever sounds good, but with Adele, track 12, it's like she's kind of got closure, she's found someone else, she doesn't need you anymore, and it's like a complete flip from everything on the album so far, where she's so in love with that person, 
And some, more times than not that she's more in love with that person than they are with her. So to flip the script, I found someone else. I don't need you anymore, even though they're coming back to her. More or less begging to get back with her. So yeah, she's really turned the tables. I love that. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. 19 will come. You guys know how I do it. I, I wait months before I'm gonna do the next album from the same artist. But I just kind of want to preview it. How many songs is it? 12 songs again. A little bit shorter in the runtime. Chasing Pavements is a song I've heard. That might be it. In the recommended albums you may also like. LMFAO's album is recommended. What? What? Because when I think of Adele, I think of LMFAO. Yikes, man. Okay, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe, recommend other artists that you would like to see on the channel. For some reason, I have a feeling Amy Winehouse is going to be recommended off this video. She's someone that I'm going to do for sure in the future. Someone that I know gets into deeper topics because of rehab, that song just specifically. But any other artist you'd want to see, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out my second channel, Dylan is in Trouble, and I will see you guys in the next one.